It's been a thousand years since right. we've seen Reen's face and him crack his knuckles. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, sorry for such long delays in this project. Um, I was focusing on other games. Um, I know it's been a couple months, and I've really want I've really missed this game, honestly. It's been quite a while, but now that things are slowing down and things are done with uh, Berseria and Nier, um, it's a good time to come back, you know? Um, it's been a very long time. Since then, um, Trails in the Sky 3rd just came out. Um, Trails of Cold Steel is coming to PC along with the second game, which I'll be doing the second game on the PC. Um, the cool thing about the PC version is they're going, there's going to be added dialogue from Reen, which they were never able to put on this version. Because even in Japan, he didn't really have voice in certain sections, but now he's getting like 5,000 lines of dialogue or something. Or maybe just throughout the whole game, there's going to be 5,000 more pieces. It's going to be crazy. Um, I would, honestly, if I wasn't so far in the game, I would wait and switch over. But since we're like, we, we have like a fourth of the game left, pretty much. So definitely going to jump on it when the second game comes out. But we're going to be finish up what we started now. So... Welcome back after such a long time. Um, we just arrived in Gorelia Fortress. If you remember, Gorelia Fortress was the place that we saw in the very beginning of the game. It was uh, quite a long time ago. Um, for those who are just watching uh, like the completed playthrough, um, I took a break from this game for a little bit because I was playing newer games. And I played this game before, so I didn't want it to like affect how I felt about the game or anything. Since, you know, it's easier to play games when you're first experiencing them, you know? But anyway, getting started, uh, we need to take a tour of Gorelia Fortress, which includes talking to everyone who has a little marker. Um, which is basically all your classmates, and including Sarah. So let's talk to Sarah first. Oh yeah? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Some just random mechanical thing was just hanging out in the forest. It was a little weird. <laughs> Monobolos. If you're familiar with other games in the series, you may have heard that name before. Because they're quite well known and they go across... The continent, which includes Libero and um, uh, Crossbell, I'm sure even in um, the other place, uh, fucking, uh, I can't think of the names right now. God, it's been a long time, you know, so I apologize. Yeah, we really don't know too much about them. That's true. Yeah, they're kind of crazy. They can be uh, pretty nuts. Archaisms. Oh, really? Huh, that's interesting. A little heavy. Possibly. Though I don't believe their intentions are only... Um, limited to the Empire. Considering what we've seen in um, Libero, um, that is definitely not the case. <laughs> For sure. It's n it's not something in our immediate future, you know? It's not something we need to worry about right now. But there is an organization called Ouroboros that does some bad things. And we may or may not run into them in the near future. Or in the late future. Who knows? So, 
that's a thing. Um, next up, we need to go talk to... Emma! In the guest room. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I still have my guide, so... They say Emma next. So, who knows, maybe I'll run into her next. Oh, there she is. <laughs> How you doing, Emma? Well, it is supposed to be like the biggest fortress in the entire kingdom. Well, Empire. I believe so. It's like one of the biggest fortresses. It's been a little while though, so... Guerrilla Fortress is meant to be like... The big thing, so... A small black shadow following us. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. I wonder what it is. It might be Celine. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think I'm possessed. I think I'm just kind of observant. You know? God, I have to say, it's really weird holding a PS3 controller right now. Because I've been holding a PS4 controller for games... For like... Like... The past months. Like, it's really weird. The controller just feels so small in comparison. So, I don't know. It's just really throwing me off. So... He may be talking about Celine. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, who else will he be talking about? Um, anyway, we need to go talk to uh, Fee and Laura next, who seem to be over here. There they are. It's always nice to see you two hanging out together after um, after we did your little thing in... Um, why can I not think of the name of the capital? <laughs> God fucking damn it. This is so bad because it's been a couple months, so now all my knowledge is like... Phew, gone. For sure. Maybe so. Before anything... Um... This is gonna bother me. If I don't let myself know now, God damn it, I can't. Oh, I'm so mad at myself right now, that's why I'm like, uh, you know? Damn it, I'm really mad at myself right now. <sighs> Wait, Heimdall. That's what it's called. <laughs> God, like, I need to skim through, like, all the little details so I, like, refresh my mind. Because it really has been a couple months, so I do apologize. I'm like, ugh, I'm so mad at myself. I don't know what the freaking town's called. <laughs> I should know this. It is pretty big. It is the Empire's biggest fortress. Yeah, you probably shouldn't say that, you know, going around here. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Oh, Fee. You keep being you. Just don't get yourself caught, you know? Don't get beat up. <laughs> so next up, we need to go to, um... We need to go buy an Imperial Chronicle. Um, that is going to be in the central freight platform, I believe. Right? Is it? I don't know. Let's go look. I might be crazy. No, I don't think this is it. It might be... Let me, let me look. Maybe up there. Or maybe it's this guy. 
Who do I need to talk to? I need to talk to... Oh, it's just buy it. So I need to find a store. Maybe up here. Probably not, but I'm gonna look anyway. And that's Professor Nightheart, which I really don't feel like talking to right now. He's actually the next person we need to talk to though, so it's gotta be somewhere down here. Oh, here it is. Remodel weapon, which I believe I'm pretty behind on. Um, we do have some Sepith masks, so we can sell some of those. Um, so let's do that. And I am like so low on money right now, which kind of sucks. Um, but he does have an Imperial Chronicle, probably. There it is. Want to buy that? And besides all that, I think we're okay. Cool. Master Quartz are bots, and I think that is it. So we just had to buy that Imperial Chronicle. Now let's go talk to Professor Nightheart, who's hanging out up there. See what he has to say. He can be a pal. He can be Cam Clark when he wants to. Oh man, it's Lieutenant General Walter. Commander of Gorelia Fortress. He's pretty big. And he's also the commander for the 5th Armored Division. Which is pretty hardcore. Gotta give him props for that one. The Armored Divisions don't joke around. Thanks. You know, I try. But can't always be the best. You know, I'm still in high school. Still in military school. Hey, don't hate on Sarah. She's cool. I'm pretty sure she can take on most of your guys. With with ease, might I add. There's clearly some discrimination against Bracers. I mean, we know that throughout our entire journey, throughout Heimdall, we've seen that there's discrimination. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, we've even seen that in La Barrel with uh, that one dude, General Morgan, I believe. I cannot, I can remember General Morgan, but I can't remember any goddamn city in this game. What is wrong with me right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that actually makes me mad. I can't believe I remember General Morgan's name. That's insane. I'll take my leave. All right, go have fun, dude. Keep being a businessman. Yeah, he's kind of hardcore. A little bit. That's true. I mean, this is a pretty big place, so probably comes with the territory. Sure. Yeah, I didn't really plan on it, so um, I'm just not going to. How's that? Just not gonna go in there. <laughs> so Nightheart's gonna go. We're not gonna be entering the uh, command center, just because there's a big mean meanie in there. So <laughs> imagine a military student saying that. All right, so next up, we need to go talk to Elisa, Elliot, Elisa and Elliot in the tank garage. Or it might be called something different because this guy is a little different on the names. Um, probably the motor pool. So let's head down here. Um, what's the run button? I think it's R1. I need to remember. <laughs> there we go. So it looks like they're over there. Very impressive. 
They have a lot of tanks. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, so... Elliot and Elisa should be in here, so let's go talk to them. How you doing, Elliot? Nah, it'll be fine. Your dad's here, right? Yeah, but you're not too into it. No, that's no big deal. Have we not seen his dad? I thought we saw his dad. Am I being dumb? Oh god, it's been a while. Yeah, the Reinford Company does make them. Courtesy of her mother. So... Yeah, they're just probably going to blow him up. For sure. Oh, Elisa. Really doesn't like what her mother's doing. But that's fair. So next up, we need to go talk to um, Eusis and Gaius and Milium on the bridge. Um, I believe that is up. Is it? God damn it. Sorry. I am so used to Nier right now. Like, I just finished... I just beat Nier recently, and R2 is my dodge button. R2 is my run button. And I'm like, let me, let me run. <laughs> Um, I don't actually remember where that is. So it might... I have an idea. Um, I'm gonna check out here first. Got some... Mini airships. Maybe. So, looks like uh, Crow and Machias are talking together. Well, you know, I don't think there's a real order to this, so let's go talk to them. What's wrong? Jurai. Yeah, they were just at Jurai. It seems like a pretty cool place. Maybe they'll- maybe we'll go there one day. <laughs> That'd be nice. It'd be really awesome if we could. Oh wow. Really? Hmm. Well, why not? Really? Maybe so. That's quite a, um... That's quite an accusation, Crow. Kinda. Nothing we really know all that much about. It's very... It's something we honestly don't really have knowledge about because we weren't there. We don't really know too much about Jirai and the politics behind it. But it was interesting to hear Crow's outlook on it compared to Machias's. So, give him that. 
So for now, let's go head on to, uh, maybe it's over in that one area. I think it's over there. So let's head on down here. Um, I do know there's going to be one spot where we need to run for a very long time, and this might be it, so. Because I remember there's like a place like really far away that we need to run to. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's not like right here. God, it's so crazy to be playing this game again. I don't know, I'm like, every every time I think about it, I'm like, God, it's been a while. <laughs> it's pretty big. For sure. Alright, so we need to head over to the uh, one place that we're allowed to go to, pretty much. Um, yeah, so maybe I'm wrong. Did they just teleport you? Oh, I guess I, I remember running for a really long time, or maybe it's down this bridge. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, because I could have sworn we ran, like, all the way down there or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, Alright, let's talk to Gaius. Well, Zender Gate's in a very remote location, so. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe so. You may be right about that. Kinda. It is a little big, but, you know, gotta have at least one in the Empire, right? <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to be comfortable with it. Especially considering the, um, guns that they have here. It's definitely not the, the nicest place to be. <laughs> How you doing, Milliam? Yeah, well, I don't really want to get too close to those things. They're pretty big. They're also very dangerous. Orcus Tower. Hmm. Yes. You... Yes. Yeah, why did you join? <laughs> Maybe so. That's not a bad assumption. That's kind of been the thing for a while. Between us and the Republic. So. Yeah, Toa's there too. Hope she's doing okay. I already missed Toa. So we did take care of that. So I believe all we need to do now is head back to the fortress and then we should be good. Because that is everyone we need to talk to. 
So let's head on back. I believe, anyway. Um, we might have to go back up. So let's go up. So the military exercise is ready to go. So it's time to go check that out. All right. Just, I'm just gonna get in these. Don't mind me. They go pretty fast for tanks. Yeah, I give him that. It's pretty good. Cool. My favorite kind of car. <laughs> Gorelli Fortress's military training grounds. Alrighty. So I wonder what this military exercise is going to be like. Apparently things are going to get blown up, so... I'm excited for that, I suppose. Might as well enjoy it since we're here. Yeah, they look quite, um, imposing. They have an airship? Oh, wow. Kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I guess they do. It's over on the left. Welcome. Here he is. Thought he showed up earlier. Must have been crazy. I don't see the family resemblance. I mean, they got the hair. <laughs> yeah, he did. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. He did show up earlier. I totally remember. Because he was like, Elliot, I love you, my son. Yeah. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Look at Instructor Sarah being all formal. Not something you see every day. You know? What up, homie? Craig the Red. Elliot's my boy! Oh man. There we go, just hug him. Oh, okay, never mind, I was wrong. God damn it, I'm so bad. This is the part I was thinking of. And it, I guess I remembered it from my first playthrough. Why am I so bad right now? <laughs> Dad, come on! Oh.
Poor Elliot. Elliot does kind of make him sound like kind of a rough ass. But, um... He's a pretty nice guy. Words fail me. <laughs> Poor Nightheart. Oh no, not Fiona. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Proper introduction. I'm bad. My memory is all over the place. My bad. <laughs> Regardless, Craig the Red is super cool. Cool shit. Yeah, he's pretty crazy. <laughs> I feel it in the bones. You got bone hurting juice? That's the new meme, right? Bone hurting juice? Everyone heard about the new meme? God, I fucking hate memes. <laughs> Cool. So basically, the targets are just going to be really, really shitty tanks. Cool. So they're literally just here to die. I mean... Honestly, well, the other tanks have people in them, so wouldn't really want to be shooting at your own guys. So it makes sense that they have uh, paint bullets. Yeah, why not? You know, who cares? Taxpayer money. <laughs> I mean, they are outdated, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Yo, oh, everyone's really excited. So we get to see the military might of the Empire um, against some losers, <laughs> against like really, wow, get fucked. Okay, that's even worse. It's like not even like a contest. Jesus, guys. It's like, I really want to just blow up my old tanks. Can I do that, Commander? Yeah, why not? We can use it as exercise. We can show off the kids. It'll be great. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Maybe so. A 
little bit. It's a little crazy. Yeah, unless you're really into it and you want to get into it, but knowing Elliot, probably not. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. Whew. Sounds like something's resonating.